The Chili Pepper Institute literally put New Mexico State University on the map this summer when Rand McNally, maker of the famous Atlas, gave the Chili Pepper Institute their best of the road distinction for 2010. But despite the Institute's low-key location down the long quarters of Gerald Thomas Hall, many have known about the hidden gem of NMSU that is the Chili Pepper Institute. Well, we have folks visiting us all the way from Washington, D.C. on the eastern seaboard to Washington, California on the western uh, part of the United States coming and, and folks from Europe, uh, Netherlands, Germany. And the reason that many people know about the Chili Pepper Institute is because of the tireless work of the chili man himself, Dr. Paul Boslin. A professor in plant and environmental sciences at New Mexico State University and director of the Institute, Boslin's work studying chili peppers has put the university on the map academically as a leader in chili pepper research. The mission of the Chili Pepper Institute is to educate the world about chilies. His work even earned him an award this past year from the governor of New Mexico, a distinguished public service award for a summer program he leads for students who come from migrant farm working families. And they work with a scientist in the college to see what agricultural science, and this can be in any aspect of agriculture in the College of Ag. The program called Assured exposes the first generation students to the other side of agriculture they might not be familiar with. We've been very successful with the program. 40% of the students that partake of the program have switched to a major in, in, in the College of Agriculture, Consumer, and Environmental Sciences. But in case you've never heard of the Chili Pepper Institute before today, perhaps you've seen or tasted their work. Released in 2009, the Holy Jalokia hot sauce now appears in airport gift shops, among other places, all over the country. Described as being more about the flavor rather than the heat, Holy Jaloki is the result of a partnership between the Chili Pepper Institute and hot sauce creator K. John's Fiery Foods. The partnership was formed after Dr. Boslin and his team officially measured the Boot Jalokia chili as the hottest chili pepper in the world, something the Guinness Book of World Records even took note of in 2006. Looking to bottle the flavor of the Boot Jalokia pepper, K. John's concocted a sauce and later a salsa said to be hot as hell but holy. Both the salsa and the hot sauce won high praise this past year, with the hot sauce earning two Golden Chili Awards at the Dallas Fiery Foods Challenge and the salsa winning first place in the Scovie Awards held in Albuquerque. Proceeds from the Holy Jalokia products are being set aside for a permanent endowed chair in chili research at the Institute, something Dr. Boslin says will help in keeping with the Institute's mission. What we try to do is uh, answer questions about chilies to anybody in the world. And what we like to say, it's research-based, so we, we like to use the science to answer the questions. Building off the success of the partnership with Holy Jalokia, the Chili Pepper Institute is also capitalizing on its research and breeding a super-flavored chili to raise funds for the endowment campaign. One of the, our new releases is what we call Numex Heritage 6-4, which is a very flavorful green chili, kind of going back to the traditional flavor of green chili, what some of the natives in New Mexico always uh, expect from their green chilies. The new variety made its debut in the market last fall in partnership with Las Cruces based Bayad Chili. The chili is said to have five times the flavor and aroma of others grown today. You see, as demands on modern agriculture have led to chili seeds that produce higher yields, superior flavor has been sacrificed. Dr. Boslin and his team set out to restore the flavor of the chili by tapping original plant strains. The result is a pepper with 500 percent more flavor but still having beneficial traits for farmers. Every box sold of the New Mex Heritage 6-4 has garnered a $1 donation to the Chili Pepper Institute, and next year, Bayad Chili will debut a second variety developed at the Institute, the New Mex Heritage Big Jim. It's gonna be a little hotter than, than the 6-4. It'll probably be at the hot level, but a lot of people in New Mexico want a green chili that has some heat to it, a little kick. A fruit that's revered in this part of the country and used by many in almost every meal. It's no wonder that NMSU has made it a priority to study chili. But the relationship between chilies and the university dates back much further than most would expect, all the way back to the very first graduates of the school, then known as the New Mexico College of Agriculture. Starting with Fabian Garcia in the late 1800s, one of the first graduates of NMSU uh, really invented 
the green chili that we think of, the New Mexican pod type. And so we have a long heritage history with chilies at New Mexico State. So we like to promote that and let the world know that we're very special when it comes to chilies. Garcia went on to breed and document chili peppers throughout his career while serving as director for the Agricultural Experiment Station for more than 30 years. Dr. Boslin believes that Garcia's work deserves even more recognition than he's been given today. And a lot of people don't realize that Bobby Garcia is really the father of the uh, U.S. Mexican food industry. As education of the public remains an important priority to the Chili Pepper Institute, the annual teaching demonstration garden, with over 150 varieties on display, has become a must-stop for those looking to learn more. So you get to see all the different shapes, sizes, colors, flavors, aromas of all the different chilies. A lot of people know a few, but they don't really realize the great diversity of chilies that are out there. Open daily June through mid-November, the garden is located just west of the main campus at the Bobby and Garcia Horticulture Farm. Since its beginning, New Mexico State University and Chili Pepper Research have gone hand in hand. Today, the Chili Pepper Institute carries on the legacy, educating, researching, creating chili peppers and chili products for all of us to enjoy.